Today I'm going to talk about what is an economy and what are the types of economies. So economy is a system that provides a living to its people. And so what is living? It means earning an income. So I hope you can see this. So yes, economy is a system that provides a living to its people. And living is, living means you earn your income. So we have, that is like, we have this workforce uh, of any place, of any region. Or they are engaged in some or the other economic activity for earning an income. And we do, do need income for survival to buy goods and services. So uh, we are talking about earning a living a system that provides a living, that is an economy. So, uh, what is it? The workforce of a place, how they earn their living and how they go about their activities. And talking about that, there is mutual, there are so many economic activities and we talked about all activities which we perform in exchange for money is an economic activity and all these economic activity, the essence of any economic activity is that they are interdependent. Everyone depends on the other for fulfilling our wants and needs. So now after what is an economy and we're going to talk about types of economies and there are three types of economies. We have the market economy, we have the centrally controlled economy and we have a hybrid that is the mixture of two that is the market economy so now we're going to do types of economy so there are three types of economies so just look at this so we talk about what is known as the capitalist economy so what is a capitalist economy it's also known as a free economy that means economies where the economic activities are controlled by the market forces so what are the market forces? That is the demand and supply of a commodity. And it is, in fact, it is the demand that determines what should be produced in that economy because that economy, capitalist economy, is driven by profit motive. So the consumer is the king. He is sovereign. So because the consumer will buy goods according to his choice, so the producer has to see that it respects his decision. And most of the resources are controlled by the people. The market determines the prices of the goods and services. And in this, of course, there's a little bit of uh, very less intervention by the government. Uh, it's a private sector that dominates the economic activity. So that is known as uh, the capitalist economy. So we take up the next one, that is a centrally planned economy. So uh, this is it. So what are the centrally planned economies? Yes, um, okay, we were talking about the capitalist uh, economy. So we have examples like the UK, the USA. Now talking about centrally planned economies, I'm sure certain countries that come to your head, Russia, China. So what are these? These are the economies where the economic activities, that is production, consumption, exchange, etc., are uh, controlled by the government or some central authority. And the economic decisions are driven by the motives of social welfare, not just not private at all, because they have to bring up their society to a certain level. And most resources are owned by the government and the government decides at what price the goods are to be sold in the market which is very interesting we have more of pds public distribution system we have rationing things like that and it's a public sector that dominates the economic activity so here the consumer is not the king that has to be 
taken into my taken into consideration it is a government social welfare not just profit profit motive is not there and uh, the third one is a uh, mixed economy these are the economies where we do have a little bit of free play of market forces but they are regulated by the government economic decisions are driven by the motive of both profit maximization but the goal is uh, there's always this view of social welfare the consumer is sovereign uh, he but uh, to some extent because resources are controlled both by the government and by the people prices are determined by the market but the government regulates and controls the prices of essential commodities because it has uh, it it is a balance between profit maximization profit motive and what is social welfare so uh, both the sectors dominate so having done that uh, i hope you've understood and we are going to do a little bit of this assignment which i'm going to give you as usual and see if you're able to do something about it so here we go that's assignment number five what is an economy so i hope you can see this assignment number five question number one is define an economy question number two is what is the essence of economic activity third name the economic economy where there is no government intervention and all economic activities are governed through or by price mechanism and for profit motive fourth question what do you mean by a centrally planned economy and the fifth question is in which type of economy resources are controlled both by the government and by the people prices are determined by the market but the government regulates the prices of essential commodities so i hope you've got this let's in focus i hope and now we come to assignment number 4 answers to assignment number 4 that is positive economics and normative economics which we did earlier let's take question number 1 what do you mean by economics as a positive science it studies the facts as they are it explains their causes and effects second is define economics as a normative science answer is it studies facts and events as they ought to be it deals with an ideal situation and not actual one then we had given you had this examine the statements and say whether they are positive or normative for example first one was there is poverty in india yeah it is stating a fact so it is a positive statement second unemployment is on the rise in the world it is a positive statement because it's stating the truth a fact next is efforts should be made to tackle the problem of poverty that's a normative statement and we come to the d part the last question there has been a downswing in the economy because of covid-19 again it's a fact and it is a positive statement let just make a note of this facts that can be verified by actual data are positive statements so verifiable data is a positive statement 
and opinions cannot be verified by actual data. So those become normative statements. I hope uh, you've understood and it's in focus.